Laramil, you've returned. But I know that look. What's wrong? Torvasard once more moves against Apocrypha. He seeks to restore the Forgotten Prince. I'll let our friend explain. I finally resolved to see the world beyond Necron. With some assistance from Laramil, of course. Then Hermaeus Mora called her away again. I'm glad to see you're still helping her, friend. Did I hear correctly? Torvasart has returned? What I know about Daedric princes and relics, I learned at Laramil's side. If she doesn't know what it means, I can't add much more. The good Daedra haven't been widely worshipped in Morrowind for ages. How do you think they're involved? Hmm. I've never heard any such story, but Holomeon Monastery is just north of here. The monks there preserve the old Velothi traditions. If we're dealing with ancient myths about the good Daedra, they might be able to help. Go on ahead. I just need a moment to uh, confer with Laramil. We'll meet you at Holomeon shortly. We may need to convince the monks that we come in good faith. They rarely welcome visitors who don't share their beliefs. we could knock we have no time for this i shall open a portal no need for that the golden eye foretold your coming welcome the abbot forgive our intrusion and listen to what our friend has to say greetings champion the golden eye hermaeus mora himself spoke to me in a dream he told me you were coming here i am andor Indoril. It is my honor to serve as abbot and historian of this monastery. Only this once, which is why I thought it best to listen. So long as you promise not to harm any monks nor remove any tomes without permission, you may explore the monastery freely. What exactly do you seek here? I know of a few blades sacred to Boethia, but I am unfamiliar with lamps or skeins. They are not among the relics commonly associated with our ancestral spirits. However, there are more secrets preserved here than any one scholar could ever uncover. The Holomayan Library, of course. We have many volumes found nowhere else. Follow me, champion. We keep the main entrance sealed, since the more stringent ordinators consider our brethren to be heretics. I assure you, they are not. Send your friends to the library. It's down the stairs to your right. Look, the Echoneer has something to show us. Fate has led us true again. Secrecy is everything. Yet, we must leave something behind in the event that we fail. Even if we succeed, the need to act again may arise some long tomorrow from now. Herba Mora will not allow that to happen. But I agree. We should leave instructions here for those who come after. That book? It is the very one those three ancient priests were handling in the memory. Examine it, Proxy.
Those devout priests offered themselves so their princes could meet in secret. We must find the gate they used. It could be the access to Apocrypha Torvasad is seeking. Torvasad said the relics would help him find Athelia. He must believe they will lead him to a gate to Apocrypha or the final glyphic in the mythos. We need to find the gate first, but I have no idea where the Shrine of Inevitable Secrets lies. The course of fate is never that simple. Many futures branch from each choice we make. If we know too much, we risk altering our choices and changing the outcome. Therefore, Mora tells us only what he must. As fate's chosen, you will lead the way. We are in a monastery dedicated to ancient knowledge. There must be a book or scholar here that can point the way. Abbot Andor said our coming was foretold. Perhaps the one we are meant to learn this secret from will know you as well. Sarah, we receive so few visitors here at Holomayon. Hmm, I have never heard of such a shrine, but the name sounds like the sort of sobriquet favored by Hermaeus Mora. Perhaps Neus is familiar with it. He has a special interest in law pertaining to the Prince of Secrets. be the guest Abbot Andor told us to expect. If there is anything you need, you simply have to ask. You're a few centuries too late for that, my friend. There was once a great shrine by that name near Sadrath Moram, but it was destroyed long ago, dragged beneath the sea by an army of Drake. Not a trace. Some legends say Hermaeus Mora angered Molag Ball and Vivek by spying on their secret liaison. As punishment, Mora's shrine was removed from this land, and no more were permitted to be built. Well, I doubt it's a literal account of events, but the end is the same. The shrine of inevitable secrets is gone, and those who worship Hermaeus Mora must do so in private. But perhaps someone else here knows a different version of the story. Curious. I sense a powerful arcane aura surrounding you. You carry something rarely seen on this mortal plane. It reeks of the black arts of oblivion. Wondrous. May I see it? Fascinating. A relic crafted by the Golden Eye himself. Few mortals have ever laid eyes on such a thing. I can see you have been chosen by Hermaeus Mora for something special. A rare honor indeed. Worship implies the subject of one's devotion, desires, adulation. Hermaeus Mora is beyond such vanities. I give him my respect, not my prayers. If one wishes to uncover the secrets of the plains, it is merely prudent. Ah. The fabled shrine of Anud Nabia. Some say the disaster occurred after the birth of the tribunal, but I think it happened in the Merithic era. If it still stands, it would be along the shore to the north. Perhaps your relic can help you locate it. I overheard your conversation, Proxy. 
Anud Nabia is just to the north of here. Gadain and I will meet you there. <laughs>